my brother sent me this. Uh, it's, I made the front page of uh, Stockholm's uh, biggest paper. Hasn't happened before. <laughs> Usually the scientists don't end up on the front page. The research behind the prize that I did was to show that DNA, the carrier of genetic information, is much less stable than had been generally believed. People assumed that DNA was going to be very stable. And then I did some experiments to show that that is actually not the case. And that predicts almost immediately that there must be special repair mechanisms that deal with this spontaneous damage. I guess I'm proud that uh, going into a field of research that was not very fashionable or topical uh, many years ago, DNA repair was almost frowned upon a little bit as a sideliner, uh, that uh, I've been part of building that up into a very large and important research area. It is a two-edged sword we have to deal with because it's absolutely essential that we can repair our DNA. But uh, cancer cells can also repair DNA and their DNA. Huh? So uh, what's needed here is developing new drugs that will interfere with DNA repair temporarily so that you can kill the cancer at a stage when its repair mechanisms have been crippled. I don't believe in eternal life, but I think if one could have better understanding of the changes in cells and organisms that cause aging, so we could aim that everybody should get about 90 years old uh, and uh, then fall asleep peacefully. And that would be progress, uh, and that would take away much of this scare aspect of cancer.